Welcome to another session of the ATU Library Tutorial Series. And in this tutorial, we are going to take you through, or we're still on the project work formatting, and how you can format your project work or your long essay appropriately. However, in this tutorial, we are going to cover how you can generate a table of contents uh, without not doing it manually. You have to just uh, automate it. So how can you go through this, or how can you um, generate that list of or your table of content automatically. So we have our word file over here and we have some content in our word file. In each or in, in some of the chapters, we have our main headings over there and we have subheadings. Now we are saying that the main headings in all the pages will take that of heading one. And the subheadings, the ones with two digits will take heading two. The ones with three digits will take heading three the ones with four digits will take heading four and so forth. So this one shows the main heading of our page and this one will take heading one. And when you right click, you see modify over here, it tells you that you can format all your heading one accordingly. So we are saying that all our heading one should be Times New Roman, that is the font type and the size should be 12. We are saying that um, all our heading one should be centered bolded and also set to automatic the color which is black okay and so double spacing we have two digits over here and so this one will go to heading two we move on to the next one two digits shown over here that is heading two You also have two digits heading two. What you see over here is three digits, and so we select heading three. We have two digits over here, so we select heading two. You also have two digits over here. We select heading two. This one also two digits heading two. Heading two, we have this also heading two. Now, as we move on, we have as we establish the fact that we have main headings on some chapters, and we also have chapter two literature review. That is the main heading over here, and we have subheadings over here. So, as we did to our previous chapter, the chapter two literature review will also be classified under heading one. And so it follows in that order. This one will also go for heading two and so forth. So this one will also be heading two and it follows in that order. So the page that contains the abstract, so abstract will be heading one, declaration will be heading one, dedication heading will also be heading one, reference heading will also be heading one, appendix heading will also be heading, heading one. These are the major headings on particular pages. So we push all under heading one. So once you are done in classifying your headings, the ones that will go under heading one will do so. The one that will go under heading two will do so. Heading three will do so. Heading four will do so and so forth. It means that um, you are set now to generate your table of contents. And so, Make sure that you have a blank sheet as indicated over here where the Kesa is. So your Kesa is on the particular page that you want to generate your table of contents. And so you move to references. And on your references tab, you see a lot of ribbons over here. So we directly go to the table of contents side and we have table of contents shown over here. And you just select any one of these to automatically generate your table of content. That is it. So this is what we have over here. So you can highlight whatever you have. You go to home. You can change the font size to 12. The font size to 12. The font type was already changed to Times New Roman. That's what we have over here, Times New Roman the font size to 12. You can also give it a double line spacing or a single line spacing. You can go ahead and 
bold all the main headings. And we can see that this is just a table of content that you have generated. In situations whereby you want to add more information to your table of content, you can do so. But when you are done, the moment you click on the table of content, you also have a drop down over here. This drop down will not change anything, but rather, if you want to update your table of content, you click on the update table. It tells you whether you want to update your page numbers only or you want to update your entire table. So there will be another tutorial that will take us through how we can number our pages using Roman numerals to get a readout of whole numbers, that is one, two, three, and so forth. And so this is what we have over here. We are going to add more content to our table of contents, and we will come back to update our table of contents. And so we ended at exactly 2.2, that is on literature review. We go back, so we have 2.3, that one will move to heading two. So we do more, this one will also be heading two. This one will also go under heading three. We also have this one going under heading three. Let's quickly jump to chapter three. So we are saying that we want it to be heading one. Automatically, this color was changed to black, bolded. The font size was also changed to 12. It was centered automatically because when you right click and we click on modify, we are seeing that all heading ones should follow this format. All right. So once we have up to chapter three, let's go back and update our table of contents. So this is our table of contents. You go to update table. We click on update entire table. And we have chapter three research methodology. And we also have some content added to our table of content. That is the review of related works and so forth. And as I said earlier on, you can highlight your whole content. The font type is 12. Sorry, the font type is Times New Roman. The font size is 12. We can we have our line spacing to be 2.0 and we have our table of content over here. We can format it by highlighting chapter one introduction and bolding it. And that of chapter two, we can also bold it. And that of chapter three, we can also bold it. So you can be updating your table of content as you work along with what you are doing. And you can also update your page numbers. But before we update the page numbers, we will have another tutorial that will take us through how we can number our pages, which will have a mixture of Roman numerals, that is the I, 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 and so forth, in combination with some numbers, that is one, two, three, so that we will know how to set our page numbers and also how to update our table of content with respect to page numbers. Thank you all. And always remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at ATU Library for more tutorials. Thank you.